Hello everyone, I am A. Victoria Anand Mary, Assistant Professor, PG and Research Department of Computer Science, St. Joseph College of Arts and Science, Autonomous Kadalu. In this presentation, we will see what is the meaning of function. A large program in C can be divided into so many sub-programs. The sub-program possesses a self-contained components and have well-defined purpose in it. The, these sub-programs is called as a function. Basically, the job of the function is to complete a task. A C program contains at least one function which is called as a main function. The two main broad categories of function is user defined function and library function. User defined functions are defined by the user or the programmer. The best example for user defined function is the main function which we will be having in all the C program. And uh, predefined function is the uh, or library function which is already defined in the libraries which are available or the it will be available in the header files uh, as given the example printf, scanf, par, seal are some of the example of library functions. What is the advantage of these uh, functions? It is much easier to write a structured program where a large program can be divided into smaller and simpler tasks. It allow the code to be called many times and it is easier to read and update it is easier to debug a structured program where their errors is easy to find and fix. How this particular function work? C program does not execute the statement in the function until the function is being called. When the function is called, the program can send the function information in the form of one or more arguments. When the function is used, it is referred as called function. Function often use data that is passed to them from the calling function. Data is passed from the calling function to the called function by specifying the variables in a list of arguments. Argument list cannot be used to send data. It only copy data that passes from the calling function. The called function that performs its uh, operations based on those copies. Function prototype. This uh, function prototype provides a compiler with the description of function that will be used later in the program. It's, it defines the function before it, is, uh, before it is used in a program. Function prototype need to be written at the beginning of the program and function prototype must also have a return type indicating the type of values which it, it is going to be, uh, it, type of value which uh, it will return. Syntax for function prototype is return type, function name and list of argument which is given inside the uh, parenthesis. Like uh, in the example we can see double squared double number. Inside the parenthesis we are having the argument type double and uh, the function name is squared. And this particular function prototype will return the values of type double function definition. It is the actual function that contain the code that will be executed. Should be identical to the function prototype. Syntax for function definition that is it will be similar to function prototype that is it will be having return type, function name and list of arguments. Followed by the uh, function header will be having declaration of variables or declaration of functions and list of statement will be there and return type function prototype. The four main categories of function prototype is a function with no argument and no written value, a function with no argument and a written value, a function with an argument and returning no value and a function with argument and returning a value. What is the main purpose of this function prototype? It tells the return type of data that the function will return and it tells the number of arguments passed to the function, it tells the data type of each of the passed arguments. Also, it tells the order in which the argument are passed to the function. First prototype that is a function with no argument and no return value. Function with no argument means the called function does not receive any data from the calling function. And the function with no return value means calling function does not receive any data from the called function. So, there is no uh, mutual interchange of data between the calling and called function. 
in this example we can see that this particular statement is not going to return a value since void is provided and also it has no argument that means it is not going to take any argument in this uh, program which is given as an example void area is the global declaration of the function and in the main function the function area is called void area in the definition of the function we get rad that is uh, the variable which will hold the radius value and the final result which is stored in the variable area underscore circle is being printed using the printf statement here we can see that we are not having any argument as well as we are not going to return any values in this example next uh, prototype is a function with no argument and a return uh, value the function with no argument means called function does not receive any data from the calling function and the function with return value means uh, the result will be sent back to the caller from the uh, function in this uh, program um, we can see in the statement uh, uh, square underscore area equal to area open and close brackets as uh, semicolon the function call is made also this function is not having any argument and in the function definition after getting the input from the user through the variable square underscore side the final result is stored in the square underscore area that is uh, returned to the function called that is uh, we are having the return value but we are not having any argument next prototype is a function with arguments and returning a value a function with arguments and uh, return value means both calling function and called function will receive data from each other that is uh, they will be having a mutual uh, communication two way communication this program is having the function named calculate underscore area which will which is having arguments and also it is uh, returning the final value stored in the variable area of circle that is it is having the list of argument uh, as well as and returning uh, it will uh, return a value return type is also there and the argument is also there last proto uh, prototype is a function with arguments and no return value the function will accept data from the calling function and there are arguments however as there are arguments however it will not return the value to the calling uh, program so it's a one way communication here we are not going to return any value in this uh, prototype in this program uh, we have argument named rad and the function area is not returning any value function that is the definition of the function it is not going to uh, have any return type uh, in the main function we get the value of rad variable from the user and the call uh, and call the function area with its argument uh, rad argument name is uh, rad but in the in the function area the calculation is performed and printed and the print the result here that is uh, it is not going to return a value as the result is printed here itself so in this program we are having the argument but the the definition of the program is not going to return a value the result is printed here itself thank you